Okay, everybody, I keep trying to make a video about flexible solar panels, and I never really get to finish. But I wanted to make a video talking about flexible solar panels. Hear that? It's a train. Hey, everybody. I'm trying to make a video about solar panels, flexible solar panels, about microfracturing. I've been trying to make this video, and so let me try again. Some people out there are having trouble with their panels. That's because they need to be attached correctly, firmly, to whatever you're attaching them to. If you just attach it from the outside, What's going to occur is something called microfracturing. When, when you're on the freeway, you're going to have an extreme amount of bowing and flexing, and what happens is the panel then begins to be degrade. I don't know if you can hear that noise. corner of my solar panel. And what's occurring is what is called microfracturing. So if you hear that noise, what is occurring is microfracturing. That's why solar panels get destroyed when you install them on the roof incorrectly. If there's airflow underneath a flexible solar panel is going to occur is a flexing beyond normal. And then the fracturing occurs and then your panel then begins to degrade. So we need to firmly install your solar panels on your roof. You can't have a maximum airflow. You can hear it. That's the corner. That's just the corner. I've seen someone install it where airflow is directly underneath. It must be horrible. And then you need to destroy your panel. So I just wanted you guys to hear that. And then I'm going to refilm later. If you notice, some people are having trouble with their flexible solar panels. And I wanted to mention that you need to attach your solar panels firmly. Uh, to whatever you're attaching them to, if they're flexible solar panels. I've had mine for about two years, and I've had no problems with mine, and that's because they're firmly attached to the top of my van. If you notice, some vanners or YouTubers out there, they've been having trouble with their panels. Look at how they attach them. There's airflow behind the panel, and some may think, well, that will cool down the panel, and that is true. But flexible panels need to be firmly attached. If they're not, what's going to occur is something called microfracturing. So I'm just putting that out there. If you guys want to buy flexible solar panels, you can buy you know, the regular panels or the flexible ones. But if you want your flexible panels to last, you'll need to firmly attach them to whatever you're attaching them to. And all panels degrade. Uh, but if you want them to last as long as they can last, it's good to attach them that way. And so I'm just putting that out there for everybody. If you want flexible solar panels, firmly attach them to your van or to whatever you're attaching them to.